Welcome to Statics. I'm Dr. Stewart. Today we're going to look at an example for frames and machines. This is example 614 coming from Hibbler's Statics book. This example asks us to determine the X and Y forces that pin C exerts on member BC. Now let's look at the diagram to get an understanding of what those forces are. So we have this frame that consists of two members, member AB and a member BC. Member BC has a concentrated force of 2,000 newtons applied to it, and it has a pin connection at C. And we're asked to determine the X and Y forces that the pin connection exerts on the member. We want to find the reaction forces. We want to replace this pin with the reactions and find those forces. Now let's also note that at point A in our member AB, we also have a pin connection that is going to give us some reactions. Now if we were to take this entire structure and craft a free body diagram, we would end up with the following, where we replace those pin connections at A and C with the reactions AX, AY, CX, and CY. And then we would put our dimensions and we would put our external loading. Now something to note, looking at this full free body diagram, that there appear to be four unknowns in this diagram. And this is a 2D problem that allows us to only have three equations. So as is, we do not have enough equations to solve for all four of these unknowns. Okay, well, let's try another approach. If the whole free body diagram has too many unknowns, let's see if we can find a free body diagram of a member that is well posed. Let's do the free body diagram for member AB. For member AB here. Let's take that and create a free body diagram for it. If we do, we can recognize that member AB is actually a two force member where the AX and the AY that we had must be equal and opposite on the other end, right? And where if it is a two-force member, two forces are transmitted through it, then those forces, their reaction, I mean, their, their um, resultant should have the same line of action as a line of action of the member. And the forces on each end of the member should be equal and opposite, right? So, by isolating AB, we've recognized it as a two-force member. And now when we isolate member BC, this portion here, we can transmit only that uh, two-force, that, that single concentrated force that's on the line of action of member AB. So now we have a free body diagram that has three unknowns. This force AB and the force CX and CY. Now, this diagram, the unknowns, there are three of them. This is a 2D problem, so there are three equations. These numbers are equal to them, to, to each other. We can solve for those forces and subsequently get what we wanted, which is CX and CY. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's craft uh, equations of equilibrium for this diagram. We'll do a sum of moments equations about point C, which will eliminate the most number of forces from the equation. We end up with only having one unknown in the equation, the force AB. We find force AB is uh, 1154.7 newtons. And then we can do the sum of the forces in the X and the sum of the forces in the Y. And since we know FAB now 
The only unknowns we have are Cx and Cy, where Cx is 577 newtons and Cy is 1,000 newtons. And so, by simply taking this frame and dissecting it, breaking it up into its sub-diagrams, we were able to realize that we had a two-force member and that we could simplify this problem into only three unknowns. So that's this frame and machine example. I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as press the bell and click to all so that you can get all the new videos. I'll see you in the next example.